हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग वॉट आर वॉचिंग थ्रू द वीडियोज विच आर शेयर्ड ऑन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग फ्यू मोर कंपोनेंट्स इन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्रिएटिंग द स्टेयर केस इन टेक्ला राइट नाउ फॉर दैट पर्पज आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस ग्रीड ओके नाउ हियर इज टूडे we discussed about the creating the spiral staircase as well as the helicoidal staircase okay so here in components we have to just write down over here as a stair okay you can see different different types of stairs are available over here so let's see the spiral staircase the number of spiral stair component is s68 directly by pressing over here 68 also you can get that component okay so you just need to select this component right then here you have to pick the position so i'm just clicking over here then you have to just give the distance or dimension on along which side you have to create this staircase suppose i'm taking a distance of let's say 3000 just click over there and then again you have to give the position in the vertical side so now we are creating the in z direction so here i'm giving the next position in vertical side now whenever you are giving this point please make sure that it is perfectly perpendicular okay so now you can see due to by using that snap tools here it is showing perfectly vertical so just click over there okay and then you can see this type of spiral staircase is got created okay now to view it clearly just you need to select the window right click over and then click on read round Okay, you can see this type of stair spiral staircase is get created over here. Okay. Now to edit this staircase, just click on this icon, and you can see different options are available. So in first option, here the distances are given. Like for example, from the first step and the distance between the pipe from bottom, it is mentioned over here. suppose i am giving a distance of 100 mm over here and modify okay then you can see that distance is get added then similarly here at the top side also if you want to give that distances then here you can just add that distance so 200 okay now you can see this distance is get added over here okay so the length of pipe that you can adjust with the help of this okay now next thing here this is the shape of your staircase okay so this length is given as a 500 if you want you can just change this length also okay you can see now this spiral length uh, chain length is or it is approximately we can consider as our tread okay then next thing here this distance is given 50 which is the projection of the staircase okay which you can see over here right this projection okay then here the various effects are given 1 2 3 4 these are the different positions are shown okay so currently we have selected this position then after this when you go to the parts okay now uh, before that whenever you are clicking on this or doing this working on this right now you can see the staircase is starting from this side okay now if you want to start it in the opposite direction then here the rotation is given clockwise and anti clockwise direction so just you need to click over here and select this anti clockwise this rotation and click on modify change the direction to this opposite side and you can see the staircase are gets started in another direction okay you can see it is starting from reverse direction like here okay from this side it is get started now right so depending on the condition wherever you want you can just 
click on the petition okay next thing is nothing but what this spiral okay so here you can see this this uh, these are the two options available over here where you can see the position of these steps that will be mentioned okay so currently it is this position okay then similarly step to step distance is also mentioned then here step type is a plate profile or a beam profile that you can say over here then in parts you can see different points are given like this is the column okay you can add this column as a circular cross section okay rod of diameter let's say 200 mm okay then here the step profile I am selecting this as a plate of 200 by 20 ok if you want you can just change the thickness of this plate over here like here I am making this thickness as a 75 mm can see this will be get changed over here the thickness is get changed then stanchion profiles stanchions means nothing but what this is the vertical rod the profile of this vertical rod that you can set over here then handrail means these round or circular pipes along with stanchions those are the handrails ok so again here also the numbers are mentioned like 7 number is this step 8 number is this rod ok so accordingly you can put the values of the different parameters ok then here stair setup is shown ok now in stair setup again wherever it get connected to this step you can just mark those distances over here ok then go to going to the sanctions the profile of the sanction this distance right now it is 50 if I make it as a 75 you can see in this let me just change this ok so I am controlling this uh, screen with the help of this screen controller if you don't have this screen controller you can just download this screen controller from the Tecla warehouse the video regarding the same I have already show, uh, shared on my YouTube channel. You can refer from there. Okay, so just double clicking this, we are changing the this uh, sanctions distance. Okay, so I will just make this as a 75 mm. Modify. Okay, you can see these are get shifted inward. Okay, so likewise, whatever you want, you can just make the necessary changes for this step profiles okay and once it can be done once it is done you can just apply and okay so now whatever the settings you right now did those are saved or else there is one more option if you have set up any section over here components over here you can just name that component as let's say if i'm giving a spiral one okay and i'm saying this as a okay so this will be saved as a spiral one. so this is get available over here so next time whenever you are adding the spiral staircase and if you want the same profile just you can select this spiral on profile and then apply okay all the settings are get automatically available over there okay so this is how you can create the spiral staircase now let's create the helicoidal staircase so for this helicoidal staircase the number of component is S59 so you can just select this helicoidal staircase and it is asking pick a position ok so you just need to pick the position like this ok and you can see such type of helicoidal staircase is what created over here like this ok now again if you double click this you can see picture is given the distance between two steps is given 180 you 
can change this distance this is nothing but the distance related to riser then the total floor to floor height on which you want the staircase that will be mentioned over here okay then this distance or length of the step that also you can mark through this which step i am taking the 1500 then here angle of rotation is there okay normally to rise or to walk of in a vertical direction the angle should be kept in the 15 to 20 degree range okay then just modify this next parameter so here you can see column profile is given 100 into 4 right then step profile is given i'm just changing the thickness of this steps as a 30 mm can see steps thickness is get changed then steps quantity 15 steps are given if you want you can just increase the step count also okay you can see step count is get increased so i will just make it as a 18 sorry 16 okay right like this okay so whatever the changes you want just you make those changes and then just modify at land okay so in this way you can just create this staircases okay and if you want to create the drawing of this staircase then just you need to select this component and here you have to click on create views 3d view of component so you can see so 3d view of that component only got created okay and then further you can just go on creating the ga drawing okay view to component in basic view okay in document manager you can find that one okay and here you can just add the part map okay as we have not given the any kind of numbering that's why it is showing the question mark over here you can just add the part map in the view property okay just to avoid this question mark i will just close this view and then in drawing I will just select this and go to the perform numbering. Okay, now you can see in document manager. Okay, so now you can see H three and H six. The question mark is get removed. Similarly, you can add the part mark for the column. can add the path mark for this tensions okay so likewise even you can add the position or profile of that section just you need to click over here profile okay you can see pd 15 into 5 if i add the profile of column So likewise, the views were created. Then similarly, if you want to create the view in this another way, like top view, you just go to the view area in model view and just select this. Okay, you can see that view is got created over here. then next you can create the view in top view direction if i am opening the grid along the 
okay so views are not created so i'm just selecting them closing this one just opening that 3d view okay and just right click over here and go in view, new view, along the grid line, create. Okay. Then again you can go in the drawing report, document manager. Then just open the view list. want to grid B okay here you can see the top view of that spiral staircase okay if you want again you can go in this area in model view you can take the view of this in your drawing and you can just make the necessary changes as per the requirements right and in the same way you can just create the drawing for this helicoidal staircase also you just need to open this 3d view just select this component and you can just create the default view here component and then you can just create the drawing for this just here create the GA drawing empty drawing you are creating ok and then selecting the area in model view Okay, so I hope you get this idea about creating the spiral staircase and helicoidal staircase using the Tegla structure. Okay, now in the next video we come up with the few more components in Tegla structures. So till that, thank you so much.